Hi everyone, welcome back to Surf Ghetto Resin. Uh, we promised you some tutorials, so um, this will be our first one. I've had uh, some wooden squares leveled and ready to go in the corner for about two weeks, but I wasn't sure what to do with them. And um, I mean, it's kind of obvious what to do with them. We're gonna do a tutorial. So um, if you wanna see our first tutorial on how to get cells in your resin wave, continue watching. All right, here it is, all mixed up, resin, ready to go. I am pulling off a tiny bit. Don't mind the truck going by. So, can you see that? There is a tiny bit in the middle, and I know these are single-use cups, but I use them over and over and over. So. My tiny bit of clear. Stir this one up some more just in case. And I draw a line, a very wiggly line. It's all personal preference. And whatever's left, I pour back in here. Stir it again. Really well. And then pour a little bit off. This is gonna be the white. I like to mix the white right now. Oh, and I already have white everywhere. Just, just know, you're gonna have color everywhere. So I mix the white now. Um, I feel like it works better when it sits. And I do a mixture, and I totally eyeball this. I do a mixture. So this, if you can see through that, it's um, alcohol ink as well as a white pigment paste. You can see it's pretty thick, but it's still kind of runny. So I'll just do a drop or two because there's only a tiny bit of resin in there to color. Stir that really well, really, really well. If you don't stir this well, the um, alcohol ink and the pigment paste will do weird things on your board. Okay, so from here you just kind of do whatever color. I know people like to separate their cups and do different colors in different cups. I personally, hey where'd my stir go? <laughs> it's in my hand. I like to just mix it in the same cup. So right now I started, it's pretty dark blue already. Stir that really well. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this on wherever I want. However, wherever. Um, at this point, because I'm a California girl, I am going to add some green, but just a little bit. I like that turquoisey color. It's not coming off. There we go. And see where that gets us. Just kind of change the color a tiny bit. See if it changed it enough. Probably not. Let's add some more. I'm going 
There we go. You can see. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Here, I'm going to add more blue just to have it far back and have it really dark. like a nice midnight blue and you can see even though I left them all in the same cup and I didn't separate them and I really only used you know green and blue you can still get a pretty good variation of color um, in your piece especially when you're first starting out you don't need to go and buy every different color that's out there um, I have a glove on and I'm just going to bring the blue so it meets the clear here And basically just kind of swirl all the colors together and that's again it's up to you you can swirl them together as much as you like or as much as you don't like I like to bring my color and bring it nicely over the edge just so it'll flow on its own because if you don't bring it over the edge you'll just have like drips and it won't be like some part will have resin on the edge and some part won't it just I like the way it looks when it comes over the edge. Um, and then from here, we have our white that's been sitting for just a second. I give it another stir. I think if anything, you have to just stir all the time with this stuff just to make sure it's totally stirred. Scrape your edges really well. And from here, I just go and follow right in front of that clear line. And I pour it on and you don't, I personally like it when the white barely touches the clear. Um, you can see where it's not touching right here. So I'll just bring it back together. <laughs> so I like it where it's barely touching the clear and you can still see that line of clear. Personal preference. I think it just takes a little bit of practice to see uh, how you want it. To look or don't want it to look. Um, here I like to add some heat, a little bit of bubbles. And I can see that I have something in here. So now is the time I'll pick it out. I think I got it. And a uh, heat gun, seek one. I'm okay with that. You can see the bubbles kind of don't develop until it sits for a second. As it sits, more will develop. It's kind of an interesting thing. But um, on some, once I've done this, I like to go in and just with like a really thin drizzle, sometimes I'll wait until the resin is starting to set a little bit more and it gets a little bit more viscous. But I go in and just kind of define that line and this took a lot of practice. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. So I'm a little bit bummed. I came to check on the resin that we had poured earlier and I probably should have remembered, but I didn't because I didn't level it today. I leveled it like weeks ago, but it was a warped piece of wood. So it didn't come out great, um, but it's only the first layer. I think tomorrow when we pour the next layer, we can, we can fix it. Um, but 
here it is so you can see what it looks like if your wood isn't flat or leveled properly uh, it's not gonna come out quite right but here it is looks a little funny but that's okay I think with the resin that we poured on it today um, it leveled it out and then maybe the wave, wave layer tomorrow will hopefully fix it. We'll find out tomorrow. And we're back. It's the next day. Um, I already have my resin mixed. I have the clear ready to go. I'm just going to pour this on and it's a lot like what we did yesterday. Try to cover some of the swarp, the um, the smear, I guess. Smear of the wave. I didn't notice yesterday, but it receded from all back here too. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we'll see. I think we'll be able to fix it. It's not that bad, and. You know, it's the first one that we're doing together, and this just goes to show that even if you've been doing this for a really long time, ah, oh shoot, things still don't always go white. A few drops of alcohol ink. drops of my white pigment and just like yesterday we're gonna mix this right now set it aside okay I'm gonna go with pretty light colors today because I know it's already kind of dark, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit. Actually, that was already more than I wanted. Do kind of turquoise -y. Mix a little bit of blue and green. see what color you're gonna get when you pick it up I have a tendency to make everything green. Green's my favorite color, so I assume it's everybody else's. I just go in and fill in the spots that don't have resin. And again, you can do this any way you want. If you want to do it one color solid all the way through, then by all means. Or if you want to do no green, all blue, or all green, or all whatever color you want. It's the best part about this. And then we'll see how level this resin got overnight or at least how much it leveled out on the bowed board. I'm bringing the clear and the color together just super quick. I like to cover my edges again. The second wave always goes so much faster for me too. It's 
I'm not sure why it's the same process, but it does. Just making sure all the edges are really, really covered. Um, go back in with the white. And again, sometimes it's hard to see on the second layer with all the lighting and everything where the clear is. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay. That takes a steady hand and practice. All right, I'm ready for the heat gun. And at this point, you wait and cross your fingers that cells form. But you can see them happening. You can see them. Sometimes if you add a little bit of heat at this point, or in a few minutes, it doesn't have to be exactly this moment, um, you'll get a few more. The cells we got yesterday were better, except they all smeared. So, but we'll see. So Shane finally decided to join me today. Oh hi. <laughs> uh, this is so this is it. This is the final product. Unfortunately, because of how it was leveled, um, the waves didn't come out exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> didn't come out exactly how I wanted them to. But I guess that's just the way it works out. This is the first tutorial. Um, hopefully, the first of many. Uh, the waves are a little. They got a little weird. This kind of overflowed, and you if you watched the full video already, you saw the cells that formed, and they kind of unformed because the resin was still moving because it was so uh, bowed, that piece of wood. We're gonna finish out. <laughs> We're gonna finish out with some close-up shots, and you can see it in better lighting because I know, um, the lighting in our garage isn't always that great. We have great lighting. It's just that we have much better lighting than we used to have. Like it used to be just the garage light, and that was like literally it. And and you know what? Stuff happens. Like yeah, I'm still happy with it. It's it, just it, it looks fantastic. Like check it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but like it's not exactly what we go for all the time. Like it's a little bit like overflowy. And it. I like when that happens sometimes. Sometimes, but like what she's talking about is that the level was off, so it it blew back, and then it receded or whatever. Yeah, like it's not where I put it. That. Like it, and then it kind of like pulled forward, so it's more of like a acrylicy pour type thing, like where like they're like, oh, I'm gonna. Look. Wonkity 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 wonkity, and like oh, and there it is, you know. And I, 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 it's just not like our normal jam, but like it, it's pretty. It, it, it still has pretty good cells that still stayed in there. It still looks like water. It's water. It's fluid. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. So that's it. You just hit me. Mm-hmm.